everybody, Felicia Rexford coming to you live from Las Vegas, not live, but you're looking at me live, so it's live. And uh, it's a big, humongous seller's market out there. You're seeing a lot of coming soon listings. You're a buyer or maybe even a new agent and you're wondering what are those boundary lines on a coming soon listing? Can I submit an offer? What can I do? We're gonna break it down now. So what do coming soon listings mean? Let's just go ahead and write that down on our whiteboard. What do coming soon listing mean? And I really actually wanna work this backwards. I want to completely rework this backwards. So what it doesn't mean is that you can't place an offer before going active. No, you do not have to wait until the house goes active on the market to place an offer. And if an agent tells you that, drop the agent. For real, for reals. Yes, you can submit an offer. There's two ways that this can go. It can make you look like you're a diehard buyer and you really wanna get the offer over to the seller and the agent and that you're ready and you're willing to commit now and you're ready to do all of these things, you never know. The seller may be in a position where they kind of need a quick offer. Maybe they just can't show the house today or tomorrow. So they wanted to throw it out there coming soon to let you know that, oh, we're gonna show it this weekend. You never know. There was one time that I got an offer accepted on a coming soon because I was the first agent that called, I was the first agent that scheduled a viewing and I was the first agent to submit an offer and guess what? The sellers already had their eyes on another home. Because I wrote a super strong offer out the gate, they elected to choose our offer. So just because a house is sitting in the coming soon status does not mean that you can't submit an offer. Another thing that coming soon listings don't mean, remember we're working this backwards, is that you have to buy the home. Oh, I'm gonna say the scary words. Scary words, sight unseen. I don't know if there's a hyphen, if you're an English person out there and there's supposed to be a hyphen, I have no idea. But it does not mean that you have to buy a house sight unseen. It's coming soon and I'm just gonna submit an offer and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna submit an offer. No, again, it's gonna come down to your realtor or your representation, the person that is supposed to be on your side. Pick up the phone, I'm talking to the agent again this week. I get to use a really fun example because it's for reals, it happened to me this week. We won a coming soon listing before it ever went active. They didn't wanna show until the weekend because they had family in town. And I said, you know, I really don't mind. I really don't mind that the family's there. Can we just sneak in and sneak out? Nobody has to leave. We love the home. I know the area. They've lived in the housing track. You lay it on thick and guess what? We gotta see the house. We got to get into the house. We gotta see the house and preview it before anybody else. And then I had the opportunity to write the best offer and guess who got their offer accepted before the house went active. So it doesn't always mean that you have to submit an offer sight unseen. Occasionally you can actually wiggle your way in the door and see the property. Not all the time, but sometimes. It also does not mean, this is gonna be a long one, you're gonna wanna like make my voice go dee -dee 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 and do it really fast. <laughs> So, coming soon listings do not mean that you can't come to terms with the seller before the house goes active. Again, my example was the house was coming soon. They were concerned mainly about appraisal spreads and the family didn't wanna make any repairs. These are terms. So appraisal guarantee that I came in with was super strong. I was able to show that my buyer was very liquid. Um, an elderly seller didn't wanna make a lot of repairs. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put that we're gonna write the home in as is condition. Guess what? I did another YouTube video on just as is condition so you can check that one out too. But we were okay with accepting this home in as is condition because we knew that we still get to have a home inspection and other things like that. So these are terms, these are things that the seller is concerned about and sometimes they're not a concern to your buyers. And when they're not a concern to your buyers, that looks good to the seller. So in this case, this seller had family in town, they didn't wanna show, they wanna sell the house in as is condition, they're worried about appraisal guarantees, and we were able to check all of those boxes. I was having conversations with the agent. We were highlighting that we were able to come to all of these terms. She is an elderly person that doesn't want a lot of people in her home. Let me just take that off your plate for you and submit a solid offer up front with all the terms that you've provided me and let's go ahead and open escrow before this thing ever goes active. It does not mean 
that you can't get your offer accepted before it ever goes active on the market. You, that does not mean that you can't beat somebody to the finish line. So just do not feel like the coming soon verbiage on the MLS or if you see it on Zillow or maybe your very novice agent is like, oh, it's coming soon, they're not even allowing showings. Ask those follow-up questions. Are you sure they're not allowing showings? Is there something that we can accommodate? Can we still submit an offer? Do you know what the terms are that the seller is requesting? I have absolutely won multiple coming soon listings for buyers before they ever went active because we were able to, to accomplish what the seller was looking for in one way, shape or form, price, terms, et cetera. So do not feel limited when you see coming soon. Feel opportunity. Okay guys, so if you found this video helpful or useful in any way, of course you know to like, subscribe, and do all the things, but what I really wanna know, have you been an agent and you've gotten a coming soon listing offer accepted? Or are you a buyer and you got your offer accepted before a house ever hit the market? These are fun things that we're learning together. And if you have any other little nuggets that I didn't go over in this video, please drop them below because I really want to see what's happening. Remember, if you have any questions about real estate, anything real estate related, buying, selling, or investing, who's your homegirl? I'm your homegirl.